Welcome to Thrifty Garage Under Construction. As you can see here, I'm building this pallet wood wall in my garage, and today I'm going to show you how to install an outlet. First step is to install your box. I'm going to measure down and find where my existing box is at, and I'm right at four foot. Now the next step is to install this box. You can see on top here, we've got different ridges that'll tell you the, the depths. That just uh, allows you to set it out um, away from the stud so that there's room for sheetrock. So now we uh, line this up where we want it, and then uh, we'd hammer this in. Now I'm not going to hammer this one in because I'm using a different style on this wall. Okay, here's a look at one of these uh, different style boxes installed. Uh, they actually kind of grab onto the other side of the stud and wrap around. And then you've got uh, two nail holes you can put here and then a nail hole up top and a nail hole on bottom. Here's a look at that upper nail hole. The next step is to run your wire. Uh, I generally use these paddle bits. They usually work pretty well uh, to go through your stud here. Okay, now that we've ran the wire over here, we want to make sure it's the correct length before we cut it. Uh, you want to be able to run up here, uh, be able to tie it with a nail come through one of the back holes and then have at least four inches hanging out. Uh, I've already cut this one. Uh, the next step would be uh, to break open a, a hole in the back. I've just got my Leatherman pliers here. Just punch that out and now I can run that wire up through there. So if we fish this wire up through. And if you kind of bend it before you go in, and it's a little easier to, to grab. So we've got that's about the right length there, and then just, we just want to be able to, to nail that to the wall. Okay, I've got a box of these staples I'm going to install now, and this is what they look like. So I think code's probably four or six inches away from the box at the max. You just want to make sure it's snug. Okay, now with a nice pair of strippers, we can just use this cutting piece right here to just do a light score and then we'll just pull off the insulation. You've got some uh, paper insulation around the ground wire. Just rip that off as well. Now we can strip these. We want about a half an inch on the black and on the white. The ground is obviously already no insulation. Okay, now we're ready for our outlet. For this wall, I chose these outlets. These are a 20 amp outlet. They are the square type uh, as well as in black. There's a better look at it. On the left hand side, we've got this green grounding screw. We've also got um, the neutral uh, as well as uh, the hot. I like to start off with the grounding wire and I want to turn it around the screw in the direction the screw is going to turn. So if this wire is coming straight out, it's going to to wrap down. So I'll wrap this around to the down. I will hook on the screw and then I'll crimp this on a little bit better. Now I can screw this on. Okay, now that's done, we can move over to this. Now if you look inside here, you can see that these screws have a little place there for the wire to go in. So on these bottom ones, I will run that wire through and uh, we want our height to be not exposed. We want that wire to be covered well. And then we'll just make sure that's nice and snug. We'll do the same thing on the black. So install this black wire in and tighten it down. Okay, when I put in this outlet, I'm going to uh, fold the wires. So I'm gonna push up and push down at the same time, uh, just so those, those wires kind of fold into place. Now I'm gonna cheat and use uh, impact driver and just Lightly get on that top one and then get both of them in there and then I can sink this down. Okay, close enough. One of the neat things with this type of box is I can uh, unscrew this and it will actually pull the box away from the wall. So that gives me quite a bit more space away from the wall. And then we just uh, screw it right back in. Now my reason for going with these boxes instead of the traditional uh, boxes with nails is so I could install this pallet wood wall. So as you can see here, I've got I've got these slats that are going horizontal, connecting to the studs, 
and then I've got these vertical slots on top. So this is pulling this away um, about an inch and a half away from the wall. So the, this regular box is unable to account for that. Um, I would have to pull this out to where these nails were just barely on the edge of the 2x4 to accommodate for that amount of, of distance away. And so this uh, just allowed me a little bit extra give and to, to get this wall the way I wanted to. Now this came at a cost. Uh, these traditional boxes are about 26 cents and the other boxes are $2.32 um, when I picked them up. So it's a, quite a bit more for all boxes that I needed here. I was looking at about two bucks uh, with this traditional method and for this style of box uh, closer to $15. I almost forgot, you don't want to forget these nail plates. And with those all you do is uh, take one and you nail it in right where your, your hole goes through the wall. That way if you're ever screwing anything in the wall or nailing it, it hits this plate instead of going through your wire. 